Hi everybody, this is John Jensen from the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance Training Program. And we're here tonight because we've got a special award for five people that have really supported our program over the last three or four years. And in addition, I want to give you an update on where we're at with the training program. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and uh, doing what you need to do to get us through this time. If you were registered for our Phoenix classes, which were both sold out, or the Florida High Wind class, you know that we postponed those classes from their previous March dates. And we will be communicating with you about those if you are registered, and we'll get, uh, get squared away with new dates for those classes. In addition, we're working right now on creating a web-based manual certification class for this interim time period. We're also going to start scheduling classes in July. And we're going to go ahead, assuming that those classes will be able to be done as we've always done them. And if not, we'll adjust. So we've got a two-pronged approach where we'll have a webinar type uh, class. Uh, we want to make sure that that is as valuable to you as the on-site classes have been. And we'll have that ready to start soon, probably by the end of April. And in addition, we'll have classes on the schedule as we always have. So look forward to that. We look forward to getting back, uh, back to normal like everybody does. And we're going to do everything we can between now and then to ensure that that happens. One of the reasons it was most disappointing for me to have to postpone those classes, we had a plan to uh, thank and give an award to five people that have helped us greatly over the last few years. And in our industry, we're a small part of the roofing industry, and we need the support and the help that the Alliance brings us. Our producing manufacturers, our accessory manufacturers, our contractors, our roof consultants, home inspectors, all throughout the industry, people help and support our training program, and we greatly appreciate that. We've got five people today that we want to acknowledge as what we call industry champions. And to be an industry champion, you've got to have a few things. Number one, you've got to have a level of expertise and experience in our industry that allows you to share that. And, and when you've got to be willing to share that, and you've got to be able to do that in a way with some skills, some presentation skills and some training skills. Understand how people are able to uh, take that information in. A lot of us, like myself, gained our knowledge on the roof. And that means that when we try to deliver that information, we need to figure out how to do it in kind of a brick building method to ensure that people can digest it and then use it for themselves going forward in their career. Our first award winner tonight is Doug Thaggard. And Doug is working with Fontana Paper Mills. He is the product manager for them. And he has a tremendous depth of knowledge when it comes to underlayments. Doug does what all of our trainers do. He comes into our classroom, he takes off his Fontana hat for the period of time that he's presenting, and he puts on an industry hat, and he helps people understand the differences, the qualities, the requirements, the ASTM standards, what they mean, what those tests are for underlayments. And Doug, we could not thank you enough for your willingness in Northern California, Southern California, Arizona, uh, New Mexico, uh, pretty much anywhere we need Doug, he's there for us, and we greatly appreciate your knowledge. Thank you, Doug, and congratulations on being an industry champion. Our next award winner is Mike Fulton, and he's one of my favorites because, like me, Mike learned a lot of his experience in the field. Mike has an ability, I would call him bilingual, but in a different sense than we would refer to a lot of people as bilingual in our industry. Mike has the ability to communicate with architects and people on the technical side of our industry about ventilation. Mike works with O'Hagan. He is the national manager for technical training and compliance with O'Hagan. And in addition, Mike also communicates very well with roofing contractors, roofers, installers, people that are up there on the roof. He's one of the best at conveying tips and tricks on installing venting products up on the roof. So Mike, thank you also for your support and your willingness in our industry to to really develop your training skills and become one of our one of our prized people uh, in the training class and especially in the hands-on training. Next is Adrian Robledo and Adrian works with ICP Adhesives and Adrian has a tremendous knowledge. He is, I hate to say Adrian's a natural, but he's a natural. When you say somebody is a natural, it might suggest they don't work hard. Adrian puts in a tremendous amount of effort in everything that he does all the time, but he is a natural presenter. He communicates very well. He has a very strong knowledge of the adhesives and especially the technical uh, qualities that are required in high wind areas like Florida. In addition, Adrian also worked in a, 
uh, previous life with one of our manufacturers. So he very much understands the tile industry and how his product that he, uh, at ICP that he works with uh, integrates with our systems. So thank you, Adrian, and congratulations. We really appreciate everything that you do for us. Our next presenter is Tyler Allwood, and, and Tyler doesn't present for us as often as he used to because with his knowledge and background, he has continued to grow in importance and the demands on his time are great. But Tyler works with Eagle Roofing Products and he is their Director of Business Development. Tyler has been a presenter. He's always there for us whenever we need him. We can call and, and, uh, and he'll show up or he'll give us the, the help and support from Eagle uh, that we need. Uh, Tyler was a roofing contractor in his previous life, so again, he brings that kind of bilingual approach to his training. He understands all sides of our industry, and he is an invaluable person to the TRIA training program. And the last person is really special to me because we struggled, I struggled personally with our Florida program because I didn't have experience in that environment, and we depended heavily on the technical training because Florida is an extremely technical area when it comes to the high wind, the uplift, the uplift, resist, uplift resistance provided by different types of fastening. And a few years ago, about three years ago, we had a training four or five days away and we found out that one of our trainers was sick. One of our trainers uh, was called away because there had been a recent hurricane. One of our trainers had demands on him, wasn't able to come. I contacted Paul and I said, hey, what do we do? You know, we've got 50 people coming on, I think it was a Tuesday and it was a Friday when I called him. So we discussed it on the phone and Paul and Lisa and I uh, really revamped the program at that point and without Paul's expertise we just couldn't have done it. And we were able to go forward with that class and from that we've had I think a, a dozen uh, sold out classes at FRSA which means close to 600 people have been through that class. And uh, Paul we just, we just couldn't thank you enough for that. Um, from that, we developed the hands-on that came out of those classes. Those are almost always full also. And the expertise that all of our trainers bring um, really developed from that original revamping of that Florida program. So again, uh, Paul Oleksak, thank you very much. Borel, thank you for supporting Paul in those efforts. Uh, we just really appreciate it. And it's what makes our training program possible. There are other people that help us a lot. There are our accessory manufacturers. We have contractors. I'll show some of them there. There's people I don't have a picture of and, and won't mention right now, but those of you that know yourselves can see yourselves, we appreciate you all, and we look forward to including more of you in the future as we go forward. And as we do go forward, you know, the crisis that we had in that moment where we were short of trainers, and somehow in that moment in time, uh, somebody like Paul came through and said, here's what we need to do, and we did it, and now we've got a better program for it. So in the crisis that we're in right now, I think the same thing will happen. So I look forward to seeing all of you again in person and possibly online, uh, but we're going to develop a program that works regardless of the conditions out there. But going forward, keep your social distance and uh, stay safe. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much.